Thomas touches uh, the the uh, you know uh, the, the nails and all that holes, and he let them touch his body. So why is that? So the thing is, okay, we need to understand um, uh, the the Bible properly, and the secondly, you know, the requirement of uh, the law of uh, Moses, the Torah. So according to Torah, if we clear, if we uh, uh, carefully see, when uh, Jesus was there, Mary thought he was the gardener because he had that. Uh, uh, you know, shelf of uh, wheat in his hands. So, because Jesus is coming, first coming and sec second coming was to fulfill the feasts of the Bible and everything which is written in the Bible. So, this is why Jesus said, "Don't do not touch me," because he was also a high priest. Because when Jesus died in the Gospel of uh, John, he said, "It is finished." So, it was said by the high priest when they were sacrificing the the sacrifice of uh, uh, Pesach or uh, Pas. Over, or the lamb of uh, atonement, when they would cut that, uh, slit the throat of that lamb, they will announce openly, they'll say, it is finished, or they will say, kala in Hebrew. Uh, it, it has dual meaning. The first meaning is the, the, the bride, when he, the, so Jesus Christ had his bride in his mind, and secondly, when he said, kala means it is finished, he was proclaiming to be the high priest. So when Mary uh, was there, he, he had the first fruit uh, uh, offering in his hand, so it was like the offering for heaving, and because the real tabernacle is in the heaven, so this is why he didn't want to be defiled. He said, "Do not touch me," because it was unlawful for a high priest to go there and uh, touched by unclean person before, uh, uh, you know, offering the uh, sacrifice. So this is why he is told Mary, do not touch me. But when he came back to his disciples, he had already done that ritual and he had already done that sacrifice. He had already sacrificed his uh, blood on the mercy seat. So it was fine for him to touch even though he ate with them. So, you know, uh, he ate bread with them. You know, if we read in the Gospel of uh, uh, John, if the Gospel of Luke, he ate bread with them, the two the disciples on the, on the way to a mouse. And then in the Gospel of John, we see that he ate fish and bread and the uh, fish was uh, actually, uh, you know, burnt on the, uh, you know, cooked on the fire, living fire and coal. So, I mean, he did that. So, he's, he was in the glorified bodies. In our glorified bodies, we will be able to eat as well. But uh, at that time, it was particularly uh, impossible for Mary to touch him because uh, he was a high priest and he was about to uh, go and present that sacrifice. So, uh, sorry, uh, Javed has asked uh, two questions as well. How come his disciples were unlearned? So, first of all, they were not unlearned. For example, Andrew and Nathanael, they were uh, the disciples, uh, they were disciples of John and they were the uh, students of Torah because uh, when Andrew came to Nathanael in the Gospel of John, he said, I have found the Christus means I have found the Messiah. So how did he know about Messiah? Because they knew the Torah and Matthew was a tax collector and he was educated person because in the Roman government you wouldn't be able to get a job when you were not educated. So next let's take the next call. Hello. Hello. Hello Jam Siki. Jam Siki. Who's there? I'm Pervez Nasi from Coventry. Okay brother what's your uh, question or do you want to uh, uh, comment? Uh, actually, I'd like to talk to it with uh, Mr. Tassin. I'm Tassin Khan, yeah. You are Tassin? Yes, I am Tassin. Okay. My question is... Hello? Hello, hello. Yes, I'm listening, please. You are listening? Yeah. The sons of God... Yeah. In uh, Genesis chapter 6... Yeah. Who they were... Uh, Bible actually used this term, sons of God, for uh, uh, angels. Okay? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, if you see Book of Job, it says the sons of God came. So Bible yeah. has used these terms for two sort of people. First is for angels, and yeah. second is for human beings or Israelites, because Bible said in the, in the Book of Leviticus that do yeah. not defile yourself because you are sons of God. I'll read that verse for you. So thank you very much for your call. Well, so ne let's take next call as well. Hello? Hello. Hello, Jai Masiki. Hello. Hello, Jai Masiki. Yes, I am talking about Munira. Yes, yes, yes. How are you, sister? So, my question is... Yes. Yes, yes, yes. My question is that when you said that Jesus is alive, he told me to say, don't touch me, because I haven't gone to my father's house. Yes, yes. Yes, please. So, as you said, Jesus was going to sacrifice. 
نہیں 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 وہ ان کو انہوں نے دیکھیں بات یہ ہے کہ اوکے جو پلیز کیونکہ قربانی تو سلیپ پہ ہو چکی تھی اس وقت ہاں جی جی میں آپ کو اس کا جواب دیتا ہوں ٹھیک ہے اچھا میرے ساتھ دیکھیں عبرانیوں کے خط جی ہاں عبرانیوں کے خط میں چلے جائیں میرے پاس جی جی تو میں آپ کو اس کا جواب دیتا ہوں اچھا اچھا عبرانیوں اس کا نومہ باب ٹھیک ہے اور اس کی تئیس ویان لکھے کہ پس ضرور تھا کہ آسمانی چیزوں کی نکلے تو ان کے وسیلہ سے پاک کی جائیں ٹھیک ہے کیونکہ مسیح اس ہاتھ کے بنائے وہ پاک مکان میں داخل نہیں ہوئے جو حقیقی پاک مکان کا نمونہ ہے بلکہ آسمان میں داخل ہوا اور اپنے آپ کو خدا کے روبرو ہماری خاطر جو ہے وہ ظاہر حاضر کیا لکھے کہ یہ نہیں کہ وہ اپنے آپ کو بار بار قربان کرے جس طرح سردار کاہن جو ہے وہ پاک مقام میں ہر سال دوسرے کا خون لے کر جاتا تھا ٹھیک ہے اور بلکہ لکھا ہے کہ ہمارا ایک ایسا سردار کاہن ہے جو اپنا ہی خون لے کر جو ہے وہ آگے چلا گیا اور اس نے جا کر اس کو اندیلا ٹھیک ہے سو جب وہ سلیپ پر مرا تھا تو اس نے جو ہے اس کو کیا تھا وہ اس نے برے کا رول ادا کیا تھا لیکن جب وہ اس کے بعد جو ہے تین دن وہ قبر میں باڈی کیوں پڑی رہی کہ ان تین دنوں میں انہوں نے جو کہ کام کیے ان میں سے ایک کام یہ تھا کہ انہوں نے آسمانی مقام میں جا کر اپنے خون کو اس اصل جگہ پر اس اصل جو ہے وہ اہد کے صندوق کے سامنے اصل خیمہ میں جو ہے وہ انڈیلا تھا تاکہ ہمیشہ کے لیے ہماری قربانی ہو جائے ٹھیک ہے دوسرا کام انہوں نے یہ کیا تھا کہ انہوں نے شیول میں جا کر عالم ارواہ میں اتر کر قیدی روحوں کو آزادی بخشی تھی ٹھیک ہے جو کہ ایماندار لوگوں کی روئے تھی تیسرا کام انہوں نے کیا تھا کہ ابلیس کو جو کہ جو کہ نافرمان روئے تھی جو کہ شیول کے دوسرے ہی سمیں تھے جس کو ہم جو ہے وہ ہیڈیس کہتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے جس کو ہم کہہ لیں کہ ہم گناہ کی جگہ کہتے ہیں ادھر بھی گئے تھے کیونکہ ایک گناہ گار انسان جب مرتا تھا تو وہ ادھر جاتا تھا تو جب ادھر گئے تھے تو ان کو بھی خدا نے جا کر اعلانیہ جو ہے وہ بے عزت کیا تھا کہ دیکھو تمہاری نافرمانی کے باعث تم اس جگہ پر ہو اور ان کو بتانا ضروری تھا کہ اگر تم ایمان لے کر آتے تو یہ چیزیں جو ہے تمہارے ساتھ نہ ہوتے ہیں تو یہ سب کام جو ہے بائبل میں لکھے ہیں تو اگر ہم یہ سوچتے ہیں کہ خدا و یسم سی کی جب ڈیتھ ہوئی تھی سلیپ پر تو ان کا وہاں پہ ختم ہو گیا تھا رول تو ایسی بات نہیں ہے اس کے بعد بھی جو ہے بائبل میں بہت کچھ لکھے کہ during those three days he did a lot of things ٹھیک ہے نا تو یہ ہے کہ آسمان پر اس قربانی کے خون کو لے جانا بڑا ضروری تھا ٹھیک ہے اب آپ کو سمجھ آگی اس کی جی بالکل تینکیو ویری مچ Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. No, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. God bless you. So, this is actually answer to that question. So, next call, let's see. Let's see, Marsad, who is it? Hello? Okay, so, so this is actually, okay, so I've got very little time here. So, if you read Luke, chapter, you know, 1, 2, 3, you will see that how Jesus, Bible talks about Jesus is, you know, uh, existence in the city of Nazareth and if you uh, read the uh, first three chapters of uh, book of Matthew you will see that Jesus lived in Nazareth since he was uh, 12 years old and they traveled from Nazareth to Jerusalem to attend that feast uh, you know on uh, when he was 12 so let's take the next call hello 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 Jai Masih ki Haji Jai Masih ki Ji bhai kaun bora Haan Taskeen maa Tariq bol raha hon Ji Tariq sahab kaise aap Bas thik thak mainne dekha aapka program khuda hon aapko barakat de apne naam ke jalal ke liye istamal kare Ji Or bohut hi achha bohut hi khubsurat aap message de rahe hon khuda hon aapko aur zyada istamal kare Bas mein ruka nahi gaya mujhse mere ka mein phone karke apne bhai ko mubarakbaad Khuda hon ka shukr hai bhai aapki duaye aur aap jaise dosto ki bhi duaye sab ki Thank you very much thank you Thanks a lot God bless you Thank you very much so I think uh, this has actually brought us to the end of this show and uh, uh, and uh, my details are on the screen and they were in a minute ago and you can see them. So you can call me or email me whenever you want to and go to YouTube and search for Bible Insight there and uh, uh, just search Bible Insight on YouTube and you will find uh, the rest of the programs which have been already done. So may God bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you. I pray this prayer for you. God bless you.